All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise to Abinawa, Yahweh, Bashem, Ashak, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakakadash. Peace and blessings to all my beloved ones, baptizing this new covenant for remission of sins, man. Much love and grace and mercy be with y'all, man. And let the Lord be with y'all on your journey, man, battling against what? The wicked one, man. Wrestling against princes and palities of a power, man. All right, that's in high places. So today, I want to bring our revelations dealing with um, the Lord Yahweh Shai opening the, the seals, man, so we can get the understanding of this book. Showing you we would have to be in the new covenant to even be able to get any understanding on any of these seals, man. <laughs> You're not getting this in the old covenant, man. Right? Because what the Lord divorced Israel in the old covenant. So under the old covenant, what? You are divorced until you get that new marriage contract, which is this new covenant. So this is Revelation chapter 5, verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals, man. Right? And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book? Right? Who's going to open this book? With these seals on here, right? And to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven, right? You have men that are in heaven, right? Like who? Elijah. All right. Enoch. Beloved that's in heaven. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. So um this is talking about a book in heaven, man. And this book has all these seals of, of prophecies, man. All right. Which is the Lord's word, man. All right. Because what? His word uh, is established in the heavens, man. The scriptures tell us that. All right. It says, neither was there under the earth. Right. So you have people uh, on earth and under the earth. Because there is a place under the earth, too. Revelations letting you know this, man. Was able to open the book. Neither to look their own. Hey, so the niggas that's under the earth and hell, they can't even bust this thing down for you, man. All right. <laughs> All right. Nor uh, what what it says what on, on earth. So at this time when this was written, there wasn't no beloveds. What that was breaking this down these mysteries like this, man, like we have now, man. All right. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open to read the book. Neither to look their own. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the ruler of David, had prevailed to open a book and to loose the seven seals thereof. That goes into the destruction and the plagues and all that, man. All right. And I beheld a low midst of the throne, four beasts. In the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain. Yeah, the elders, these elders that we read about, these are actually gods, man. I got the, I got some hidden wisdom on this, man. <laughs> These are definitely gods. And I used to believe these were the 12 disciples and all that. Now, that's not who this is talking about, man. These are talking about somebody that's way, way more ancient than humans, man. All right. The elders, these elders are just like the ancient of days is, is way more ancient than a damn human. All right. And in the midst of the elders stood a lamb. So the lamb, the Lord Yahweh Shai, he's standing in the midst of the elders. Who are these elders, man? We, that's some deep mysteries right there, though, but we're going to go. Stood the lamb as it had been slain, right? The Lord that I was was slain for this new covenant. All right, so there, he's in heaven, bro, and they already they already seen that he what he had got killed, man. Even after he resurrected, he had the, what, the print of the nails in his hands, man. He's in the heavens, and he's looking at him as he has been slain, man. So they know the new covenant didn't hit. They know the sacrifice has been manifest, man. If the sacrifice wasn't manifest, it wouldn't be in heaven and on earth, man. Right? Having seven horns and seven eyes. Showing you he the Lord too. Because <clears throat> the Lord is the one that has what? The seven stars in his hand, man. All right? Which are the seven spirits of God. So the Lord Yahweh Shai has the seven spirits of God, man. He's a total one, man. Stop playing with him. All right? Sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat on the throne. This is talking about his father sitting on the throne. All right. The Lord Yahweh. Okay. Yahweh Shai's father. 
all right, which are both named Yahweh, all right. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the 420 elders fell down before the lamb. <clears throat> so they're worshiping the lamb, bro. The, 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 the angels, these are the four beasts. These are these beasts are cherubims and angels, man. They're bowing down before the beloved one, just like we read in the Baal cycle, okay? When when the guys was bowing down before Lord Yom Nahar, man, it hit different, man. <laughs> and Baal was like, hey, don't bow down to uh, Lord Yom, man. All right? Don't bow down to Allah Hayim, man. So what, they bowed down to the Lord Yahweh Shah, the Lamb, having every one of them harps, golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. <clears throat> And they sung a new song. Wait a minute. We always read this verse, but this really is talking about uh, those in heaven because they know it's a new covenant. Showing you the new covenant is even manifested in the heavens, man. They sung a new song. They didn't sing that old song, baby. Saying, thou art worthy to take the book. The Lord, Yahweh Shai took the book, the lamb, to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain, meaning it already happened, baby. It ain't gonna happen again for you niggas out there, man. It ain't happening again. He was already slain. The blood of the lamb, the new covenant blood has been manifested. There's no other blood coming, man. The Lord ain't getting slimed out again, man. All right? For thou was slain and has redeemed us to God by thy blood, man. Out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, right when the beloved ones, when we get resurrected, we're gonna say that in the heavens, man. Which they are already in the spirit showing this has already happened, man. We just waiting for it to what physically manifest. It's already happened in the inner spirit, man. All right, the prophecies is already written. What's gonna happen is already destined, man. The Lord Yahweh is in the heavens, and they knew he he's been sacrificed for this new covenant. Okay, And I beheld and I heard a voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. Right? And the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000. Thousands and thousands. He's talking about the angels. Right? Saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb. So the angels is, is, is glorifying the lamb. Is they glorifying the devil, man? I don't see these angels in heaven glorifying the devil and say, well, you know, the devil's righteous and all this other nonsense. They not in the heaven saying Satan's righteous, man. He failed, man. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, man. So, hey, we're going to be rich, man. There's no wickedness in being rich for you guys with this low vibration that you got to be poor to be righteous. That's bullshit. All right. You don't have to be poor to be righteous. Being poor doesn't make you righteous, man. You got a lot of poor Israelites that's wicked as hell. And wisdom, and strength, and honor, man. And glory, and blessings, man. And every creature which is in heaven, and on the earth, man, and under the earth, and such as are in the sea, and all that are in them heard I saying, blessed, and honor, and glory, and power be unto him that sitteth on the th upon the throne, and unto the Lamb forever and ever. So they praise the Father and the Son. Wait a minute. Did they say Satan? I don't hear Satan getting mentioned in this chapter, man. Well, you know, that's Satan. You know, he's ruler. He's ruling in heaven. You know, he's not wicked, Ock. You don't see none of that. Now, I don't see them calling uh, the Lord Yahweh Shah Lucifer either for you niggas out there. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever man so they fell down and worshiped the lord yahweh shy man they bowed down to the beloved man showing you he is god that's why he received the honor the glory and the power man okay this is why the the, the elders and the four beasts they bow down to the Lord Yahweh Shah. That's why Satan in the new covenant was telling Yahweh Shah to bow down because it's a it's a battle over dominion in the heavens, man. This is why the devil got to be casted out, man, which he was casted out. And you guys want the fucking devil to be in heaven, man. Hey, man, hey, man, you guys that want the devil in heaven, man, I, I, if you don't repent, man, I pray the Lord cast evil upon you, man, because that's wicked as hell, man. You got niggas out there that want the devil to be in fucking heaven with the Lord, man. Fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? My bad, blood ones, man. 
I'm trying to stop cussing, but sometimes you niggas need it, man. Okay? Let me get it. Let me, let me tweak out, man. All right. <laughs> and I'm cussing because I'm irritated and I'm mad, bro. The scripture says, be ye angry, man. And seeing not, I didn't see for letting you niggas know your wickedness and using a rough speech, man. All right. It's, it's, it's terrible that you got Israelites that want the devil to be in heaven still, man. You niggas is weirdos, man. And you love evil, man. Okay. Let's get the uh, verse where, where they uh, bow down at to the beloved. Let me read that again. Let me find that. Okay, yeah, they seen the Lord Yahweh Shai. Right? Verse 8. And when he had taken the book, he took this book because there's more than one book, Israel. You got the book of life. You got the book of the dead. The book of the dead is real, man. All that's, even in the book of the dead, they have the lake of fire, man. There's books on so much stuff, bro. This is why you have hidden wisdom, man. Hidden manna. The Lord got bo a book just for your deeds, man. So when the resurrection hit, he opened that book up. Oh, oh, he did this, he did that, and he ain't repent. Okay, it's written in heaven, man. Your, your sins are being recorded in these books. This is why the Lord Yahweh Shai going to open that book up, man. <laughs> and he's going to bring judgment. You know what I'm saying? He's just, he's just writing down everybody's wickedness, man. You're thinking you get away with it. What the scripture says? Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of man is said to do evil, man. So, uh, Shalom.